Most people think that communications is as natural as breathing. People tell us something, we process it with our great wisdom, and then we open our mouths and we tell them what we think. It's like lobbing a tennis ball back and forth. Each of these is steps that most of us never do. The first part I imagine most of you are actually pretty good at, which is giving people your undivided attention, giving them the time and space to say what they need to say, and then responding. Here's the part that almost nobody does. Paraphrase what the other person says. Paraphrasing means that you take what a person says, you gift wrap it in your own words and your own interpretation, and the more you use your own words for this, the better it works, and then you hand back their thought to them. So last year, I was up in front of 400 people at a university, and I said, what's your biggest customer problem? And they said, graduation audits. What happens is that somebody calls and says, hi, I'm ready to graduate. And then they do an audit, and three weeks later they find out, no, you're too credit short, and you're not going to graduate. And then they have to hold the phone three feet from their ear. <laughs> so I invited somebody to come up on stage with me to get angry with me about that. And she did a wonderful job. She said, your stupid school messed up my plans. I've got a job in two weeks. This is all your fault. Nobody told me about this. And all I did was exactly what I told the audience I would do. I paraphrased everything she said. I leaned in and I said, wow, you've got a job in two weeks. This is really inconveniencing you. This is horrible. We've got to figure out a way to help you graduate. And she's standing there with that look of stunned silence on her face saying, hey, wait a minute. These are all my lines. I'm trying to get angry with this guy in front of all these people, and I don't know what to say anymore. And that's the kind of outcomes that I want you to start having. 